One moment. What is the name again? They did not arrive. Yehuda ben Bezalel. Yehuda ben Bezalel. One moment. Also known, also known as Maharal of Prague. Maharal? Maharal of Prague. I must find my voice. Uh-huh, welcome. Thank you for coming. Who am I speaking to? I'm Max Rampel. I'm your descendant. Ah. We are separated by five centuries, so it would be... Uh, uh, your daughter, Tila, is uh, my ancestor. Who? Tila, Tila, your daughter. Tila. Yes, I remember. It's been a long um, time. Let me see. Visited this realm. It is. Ha, huh. really? But I remember it. All right. Well, my future descendant. All right. So, um, I know you were busy with a lot of practical work, uh, but also you were very spiritual and yeah. very connected. Connection. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So I recently discovered in the literature that, um, actually it was a scientific discovery, that the Jews, uh, Ashkenazi Jews, to Europe around that time, maybe a hundred years before that. And it looks like they came from... Um, from uh, the Black Sea area, which was called um, uh, Kazarinkam. Yes. So, so you were like about 10 years after that, and until you were from that tribe. Yes. Um, this so you, know, you know, should, should know much more about that than we do. Basically, a scene thought processes. Very early Jewish contributions made up my spirituality in some ways. I was very basic. But because of that, uh, also very mystical thought processes were part of my belief system. What do you need to know? Um, I guess, why did the tribe move? And uh, how did it happen? We are a peaceful people. And there was many that would challenge our beliefs and the way that we do things. Even up to your time, when I look back in, your, the Jewish people, as you call them now, are always challenged because of their leadership abilities, their creative abilities, and that they are just higher advanced humans. So we find this as a problem in our day and age as well. We became leaders and they did not want us to lead them because they could not understand the ways that we were leading. Right. Do you find that so mean? somehow? Yes. What? Um. Yeah, I, I understand what you said. Yeah. So, right. I'm I'm trying to place that. You know, to figure out. Uh, you know, the, the essence of Ashkenazi. So that tribe is my tribe, in big way, and. Um, mm. So, what do you know about uh, the roots of that tribe? More information is coming from that 
for that as now than ever before. You will be reintroduced to your tribe through the reemergence of the original Emerald Tablets. The 12 tribes, what? the 12 tribes from the 12 holographic disks is coming through. Wow. And this information is not known yet, but will be known soon. Wow. So, I recognize it. Yes. Go ahead. The Lumerian crystals that many speak about and find in different places are scattered all over the world, and they contain the information of the 12 holographic disks. So it is ancient, uh, so the, the tribe is very ancient and it's from, from Earth, right? The 12 tribes are, yes. So they existed before, the, before Egypt and before Israel? Yes. Right, so that's just misplaced. They existed during the early portions of the Atlantean period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now they were shut off. They were stolen by Toth, who created a whole new world domination through them. And that will be exposed. Kofu? Toth. Kofu oh, is different. Kofu is part of Toth. But okay. Who has greater information? Okay. In some ways. Toth, wow. Toth is the manipulator of knowledge. So the, he created the world order? He did. It will come out. Wow. Did the you know that? Go you, ahead. Oh, the information I give you now is not yet worldwide. I see. But yet you must find it. Okay. So, uh, did you know that in your lifetime as a as Maharal? No. I did not. So what was your role during the Toth times? I was a spiritual leader. I was someone that was leading the people through spiritual thought processes, through what I believed and what seemed logical and safe and beautiful. But I know history records things differently, but I, I, I was firm. I, I was someone that are you there i'm here you have frozen okay i was someone to be dealt with at times what do you know of me uh that's the best can i i know only about the maharal so if you can tell me the name are you in the history of human history I, do we know your name yes you, you already know it. You've spoken it to call me. No, no. Oh, no I mean, during the time of Toth. I thought Toth was in oh. Egypt. So. During the time of Toth, I was Emma Deer. And what was I, your role? I was just a part of the Lumerian culture. I, I was the leader there and one of the keepers of the crystals. Oh, I see. So what was the role of Toth? What did he do? He rearranged the whole... He stole the holographic disks and rearranged the truth into the emerald tablets. Many are told that the emerald tablets are the truth, but they have actually caused world destruction. Different religions to break into sections 
and to fight against one another for belief systems, to bring up different world powers that use these religions to declare war on one another and different kinds of societies that are not based fully in the truth. This is to realize the purpose as well. But did this uh, creation of thought, uh, thoughts, uh, did it serve a positive purpose as well? It is yet to be seen. Because I think it is uh, normal for the civilization to go through the Kuli Yuga and uh, be focused on the creation of the... Absolutely. To some extent, there has to be some kinds of thought processes that challenge the mind, the spirit, and all these things. However, this challenge was made even greater by Toth. Mm -hmm. So I think the humanity got, you know, very far in the idea of disconnection from the spirit and in yes. individual, and um, I guess developing willpower and a lot of other functions, which yes. makes it pretty you unique. From, you will be released from different things once the truth is fully available. I do not know why you called me, but I, I do know now that you were needing this information. All right. The 12 tribes will be freed. Well, they control the 12 stargates. Uh-huh. The 12 tribes and the 12 stargates will be open at the end of the ascension period. I see. They need much work at this point. What kind of work? They are in disrepair. And they uh -huh. are not facing toward the Orion area or the Syrian area any longer. It's been many thousand years since they were correctly oriented. All right. So it is uh, a highly technological work, which is, uh, the humanity is not ready for it, right? So we need some not help yet. from... Not yet. So I, am, I right. am very interested in this because it is just starting to be revealed and I'm allowed now to speak about it since the Syrian librarians have released the information. I see. Wow. So what is uh, happening in our lifetimes? Looks like what you describe is like far in the future. But it is not. You will see. <laughs> they tell me that I must be quiet at this point about this. Oh, More sure. information is coming. Yeah, the last thing, uh, um, I have like a minute left, but uh, you are known in, uh, in the Western culture as a creator of, Go creator of Golem. Can you tell that story? The creator of what? Golem. Volen. Golem, G-O-L-E-M, Golem. Oh, Golem. Yes, yeah. I was going to say, I don't know what Volem is. All right. Golem. That's an interesting thing, yes. Something supernatural almost. Uh huh. And it is that Golem is of a spiritual nature. It's hard for me to tell you in a minute what that is all about. Oh, you can do it in five minutes or three minutes. Well, it is even five minutes. There's so much information about that, but I cannot really bring all of it to light in a proper way. But Golem is a living thing without being a living thing. Does that make sense? Sure. He is a contribution to society from their willpower and from my instructions. 
from the right. mystic, from the mystic era of my uh, from my understandings. Right. And now um, that is how he came about is because the people desired Gollum. Right. It seems so, but that is what happened. So how much help did you get in creating it? I did get a lot of spiritual help and because of the people's karma. That was a help to create his being. Did you get any extraterrestrials to help? Yes, but we did not know that it was extraterrestrial. We thought it was spiritual. I see. There was spiritual help, but there was also extraterrestrial help, and that was uh, the greater of the help. The spiritual portion was less than the alien portion in some ways, but we did not know that at the time. So did it get a soul or was it soulless? Did it get what? A soul. It was soulless. Right. Because we created it from mysticism. Right. And from karma. Uh -huh. And from aliens. Uh -huh. But it did have a personality. Mm -hmm. And it did have something special about it. But a mm -hmm. soul, I am not sure. I do not see a soul when I look at it. I, I do see a great deal of energy. Right. Perhaps God gave it a soul before it left us. Uh-huh. And that would be appropriate. How long was it uh, uh, living? I don't know. I think I passed before it did. Uh, the story says that you put it down. Maybe I did. But I, I only would have done that if I saw that it was causing problems. All right. And I do remember that it was. Now right. that I... so, so it lived with you for years? Yes. And uh, did it listen to you? Or yeah. was it other people who governed it? It was listened to me mostly because I was the only one that could put it down. All right, I see. Now that I remember correctly. But I, well, that... I went shortly afterwards. <laughs> I see. Um, yeah, I guess among Jews, you're not famous for being uh, a creator of Golem. You're more famous for being a... Uh, a teacher and a scholar. Yes. And an organizer. That's what I prefer. Right. All right. It was nice meeting you, and uh, I hope to meet you again in this capacity. Very well. Goodbye. Uh, can you give a blessing before you leave? May God richly bless you and fill you with the thoughts that you need for your this life. Fill you with the prosperity that you are wishing for and let it, you know all the things about yourself that are true. Do not deny yourself who you are and bring up all your children for who they are as well. You must be honest to a fault with everyone around you at this time for it is who you are to become who you will be. Many praises to God for this person, for he is also a creator in many ways. Blessings. God give you the peace and tranquility of your heart also that you desire. Much love. Much love. Thank you.
Hello? Hello, Jim, welcome back. I knew I was channeling that time because I don't know what a golem is. What is it? Oh, really? I don't have any clue. Um, so Maharal made a, a clay figure, uh, a big clay monster, put life in it uh, to, because there was uh, there were attacks by uh, by uh, non-Jews, and he was to fight and protect the Jews. Oh, okay. He put life into a clay figure. Yeah. Oh, George figure. So he made something out of out of some man-made materials. I don't know the clay, and uh, it, be, it became a living person, fight a fighter. Pretty dumb though. Okay. Okay. Well, the, all right. That's pretty crazy. All right. Very good. I have to go. I have another session coming up, and I have something to read before I do this session. So. Of course. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Uh